Studying location. Both physical and human geographers study location. Location is the exact description of where something is. It's every place on Earth has a specific location. No two places in the world are exactly alike. Even small differences between places can lead to major differences in how people live. That is why geographers try to understand the effects that different locations have on human popula populations or groups of people. By comparing locations, geographers learn more about the factors that affected each of them. For example, they may study why a town grew in one location while a town nearby got smaller. Learning from maps. To study various locations, geographer uses maps. A map is a drawing of an area. Some maps show physical features, others show cities and boundaries of states or countries. Most maps have symbols to show different things. For example, large dots often stand for cities. Blue lines show where rivers soar. Most maps also include a guide to show direction. People have been making maps for more than 4,000 years. Maps help with many activities, planning battles, looking for new islands, and designing new city parks, all require good maps. On the first day of class, you may have used the map of your school to find your classrooms. Learning about religions. Learning about religion is another key part of studying geography. A religion region is an area with one or more features that make it different for surrounding areas. These features may be physical, such as forests or glasslands. They may be also be differences in climate. For example, a desert area is a type of region. Physical barriers such as mountains and rivers often form a region's boundaries. Human features can also define religions. An area with many cities is one type of religion. An area with one for only farms is another type. Some regions are identified by the language that people speak. They speak. Other regions are identified by their religion and people practice.